I'm telling you, as at today, National Assembly did not ratify this move, this, this ceding of our territory. The necessary um, compensations have not been paid. It was agreed that 500 million naira would be paid per month as a consequence of the oil wells that would go to the Cameroons that was, would, be, would, would, would be taken from cross rivers. And finally, and most importantly, you know, the aspect of self-determination. That is, a plebiscite and a referendum ought to have been con uh, um, um, conducted. It was agreed it would be conducted as part of the conditions. It was never done. So on those grounds and on that basis, I say it again, loud and clear, that if I were in President Buhari's shoes, if I were president of this country today, one of the f my priority today would be to reunite Nigeria by sending our forces into that place and taking it back and holding it and telling the Cameroonians this was not done lawfully, this was not done in the right way, and if you really want it, then the government really has to do the right thing. Go to the National Assembly, pay the necessary compensation to the people, and let there be a referendum. Time is not an issue here. An injustice done at that time is an injustice that remains still today. And that injustice was visited upon you, the people that come from here, and your leaders who have been fighting so hard for your cause. Unfortunately, not too many people have been listening in this country. And not only am I addressing the Nigerian government on this and the Nigerian people, it's the international community that you cannot just do this sort of thing to us and you expect us to fold our hands and to keep our And I'll say finally, I'll make this point. If this doesn't happen today, a time is coming when a Nigerian president will rise up in this country and he will take that territory back in order to restore the honor and the dignity of the people of Cross River State and the people of Bakasi and Nigeria itself. Who, even though not a Cross River, has a deep knowledge of the pain and the suffering of the people of Cross River State. I am shocked, I am really still shocked that this country is watching what is happening to this state. We are not part of the 13% derivation. We are like a whipping child in NDDC. We have no say because it's on the basis of quantum of oil produced that NDDC in the case projects that goes to you. So we are not part of NDDC in practical sense. We are not part of the 13% derivation. We've lost our oil wells. The 500 million per month as agreed is not coming. The 15 billion every two years is not coming. We've just been reduced to want in body, in spirit, in soul, and in finance. And since 2016, I've been making several representations to the Mr. President, pleading that this unholy pain of the people of Crossroads should be reviewed.